Hello, hello, hello. This is Ashley Loren from Ashley Loren Beauty. And today we are going to be doing a very lilac look with our Jaclyn Hill Palette 2. And it's just going to be kind of an easy look to do because I've done a little bit more bright, dramatic looks lately. And this one's just going to be a little bit more simple and a little bit easier. Um, to the everyday person. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Some leftover makeup, I think. Let's get rid of that. Um, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. Um, I am trying out a new palette. So yes, I will say things are different because I got very used to the Take Me to Ibiza palette, which I'm going to see here if it has another lilac that we could use with the lilac in Jaclyn, which it does not. So it's nice that we have these new colors to play with, and I'm excited to uh, see how the lilac turns out. So I am going to go ahead and use my setting spray if I could find it. I can not find my MAC setting spray. Hmm. Here it is. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use our matte prep fix and fix, prime and fix. <laughs> Sorry. Woo, can't talk today. Okay, need more coffee. Alright. There we go. Okay, and that just does a good job of mattifying Okay, and it pr provides us with a little bit of a base. I am tired this morning, I have to admit. But we are going to enjoy this. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it as much as I am. So I'm going to go ahead and reach for the palette, which currently has both little sleeves on it. I like to keep those. Um, and we are going to actually take just a little bit of the light lilac, which is called Therapy Sesh. And we're going to go on one side of the brush with that, and one side of the brush with this iridescent color. And we're just going to lightly mix the two to make a lighter lilac. Okay, so I want, I want a light lilac, not a bright purple. Okay, we're going to go back and do that again. On the other eye. This is a very stiff brush that I'm using. I'm not using any eyelid primer today. Okay, so um, you don't need that at all. So I'm going to go back over it with that shimmery color, which is really like an iridescent white purple, but it looks really nice over the lilac. Makes the purple more lilac, I should say. Oh, put a little bit too much there. Just even it up. Okay. And that is looking really pretty. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to bring this up a little bit. All the way to the top.
Create a nice base. Like I said, I'm mixing two colors together. To make a nice lilac. Okay. No. We are going to go in and we're going to spritz our brush a little bit. going to take the darker purple we just wetted our brush with our fixing spray we're just going to use this in the crease and the corners Bring it up a little bit there. See that? Okay. And we'll bring it up just a little bit. Isn't that pretty, folks? Look at that. Okay, I think that's really pretty, personally. Okay, and now we're going to wipe that brush off a little bit. We're going to go in with the um, lighter, whiter color again, okay, the iridescent. And we're just going to dab a little bit of that in the corners in the front of our eyelids. Oh, I like that. It looks so pretty. Okay. I almost don't want to mess with it. But I'd like to put a little bit of this just in the corners here. And along like so. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure this one is as wide as the other one. In the corner. Okay, so that is lovely. So we're just adding some more of the iridescent in. OK, 
okay beautiful and see then that makes a contrast to the highlight um not the highlight but the lilac above the dark lilac so you've got like a gradient of three different types of purple Now I'm really glad, even though I'm tired, that I hopped on because this is turning out really nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab that dark purple and just make sure we have a nice line there, but we still have it in the corners. it again for this color. So we just really want this darker purple to separate too. As long as you can see it, we're grand. And we don't need to see a lot of it, just in the corners is enough. Okay. And maybe coming down here a little bit. Okay. Okay, great. All right, that is looking good. You can see it in each corner, which is exactly what I wanted. And now we're just gonna go in with the highlight. So now things are easy. So we're just gonna go <clears throat> under our brows with a highlight color. We're just highlighting our brow bone. And so I don't change anything of the look right here. I'm going to leave that like that. If I change my mind, I'll do that at the end. But I don't wanna mess with what's there already. So, we're just going to be highlighting the brow bow. Okay. So, I mean, it would be pretty to put a little pearlescent there, but we'd have to do it in the inner corners. Like so. That way we don't mess with our actual eye makeup. That's fine. I can do that, but I wouldn't go doing anything else because you don't want to mess with what you just created. Okay? Not in this case. So, now we're going to go on to our foundation. Um, I'm going to be using Max C Light Full in Shade Light, and I'm going to mix it with the Ordinary Serum in 3.Y. I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand here, because I'm going to use a brush to apply it, and I just wetted my Beauty Blender this morning, so it'll be good to go. I'm going to be mixing it with the darker shade, just because it's not exactly the same shade as my skin right now. 
not going to be putting a lot of the darker shade, but we're going to be putting a little bit of it. And mix it a little bit with my hand, my finger. Get the excess off and just put some on my face here. Go ahead and use your finger to put some on your face. And then go back with the brush and use what's left on your hand to kind of dab around the different parts of your face. And I'm going to see what we've got here while I still have a little left of my hand. See what we already have. Oh, that's a really pretty look. I really like that purple. And the lilac. So we're just going to go with the rest of it. And go under here. And I received some of my MAC makeup today, but it's for the lighter shades when I don't have any tan on. So... I can't use it today. So I'm still going to be using the Primark powder and the colors that I just showed you of foundation. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go on with our contour. Um, I would show you the palette method, but I'm going to save that for another day. Um, and just stick to what we've been doing, uh, which is using the contour sticks. And I am going to go ahead and try using the cool color. Excuse the noise. So here's shade cool. Now, Shade Cool might come out a little darker. Uh, we're going to see right now. But it's definitely going to be more of a cool tone. Yeah, that shows up a little bit more. Plus, my tan is wearing off my face because I've been washing it, obviously. Um, but I need to reapply some. So, we're just using the contour sticks to go around our face. And it doesn't seem like it does a huge difference, but it does actually make a difference. Use the cool on the side of our nose. Don't forget that. And it's easy to forget. And then we're just going to go ahead and we are going to blend that in using our beauty blender. Okay, so you're going to grab one of these, which start out real small, and get them wet, and they get bigger. And we're just going to press this in and kind of scoot it towards our hairline a little bit. And if it's already close to our hairline in those spots, just press it in. Just dab it. Okay. Especially along the cheekbones, just dab it lightly so you get some contour, but it's not crazy. I don't want it going that far down. I don't know why I went that far down. I don't want it that far down. Okay. So we'll leave a little bit of a streak there. That's our contour. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and blend this up and out. Okay, that's just going to bring some highlight on our face. And then we're just going to dab around the edges so we don't have a harsh line. And we're going to dab on our nose. And then we're going to turn this over and just swipe on the side of our nose rather than dab. And then we're going to press the white into our nose. 
Okay, and then we're gonna keep pressing. And sometime I'd like to do a live on Facebook, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And it looks like some of our color has already dropped down under our eyes from doing the shadow on top. So we're not going to have to go underneath and do that. It did it naturally, which happens sometimes. So made that a little easier. <laughs> Okay, so that's our contour. Okay, it's not nearly as complicated as people make it out to be. I'll tell you that much. Um, when I first got into contour, I was like, oh my god, what is this? This is crazy. I can't believe people do this to their face. Oh my god. And then I got curious, so I ordered some, some sticks and a palette, and I tried it myself, and I was like, oh, this is why they do it. It works, and it's actually not that hard. It does look a little crazy um, when you're first doing it, but it's not crazy, and it's pretty nifty. So, now we are going to go, and we are going to set our under eye, and no, wait, we're going to do our powder before that. Um, we're going to do our powder, and then Oh my god. What happened? I'm missing a lash. Shoot. One of my lashes fell off my counter. And I have no idea where it fell. So I guess I'm going to have to look for a different lash set of lashes. Just fine, I have other lashes. I was just fond of those. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to set all of this with our powder. So be careful with your lashes. Don't let them fall and get lost. I really liked that pair, so I hope I find the other one. Okay, we're just going to put, my tan is starting to crease kind of funny, so we're going to put this all the way down. Okay, so we've got that set, just making sure. Okay, so now that that is set, we are going to put on our under eye powder which, like I've been saying, dropped on the floor, so it's a little bit messy. Um, but I did order a new one because it's almost out. And we're going to go ahead and let our under eyes bake, which just means leave, them, leave the powder on there to sink in. Okay, so there's that. Sorry, that's going to be really noisy because it's right under the camera. Uh, okay, so we're going to brush out the excess in a little bit. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and grab a new pair of lashes uh, from my tatty lashes that I have already. And I've got two choices. And they're both pretty big ones. Um, they're 4D and 5D. I think because I want to have the colors show, I'm not going to use such big lashes today. I'm going to use a little bit more reserved lashes. Um, they still are nice and fluffy or whatnot, but um, they are a little bit more mellow. So we're going to go ahead, those feel awfully stiff, I'm going to grab a different pair. There we go. So we're going to put, that is the, oh these are the ones that are missing. Okay, 
So we're going to grab those. Forgot to get my lash applicator back for my husband, so I'll be using my hands today. Which is fine because if you don't have a lash applicator, you might want to know how to do that. I also have tweezers, which I can do as well. Um, and I will get those out because I may want them. I was helping my husband fix up a bike yesterday. And uh, he had this tiny little thing that had to go into this tiny little hole. And I had to use my eyebrow applicator to put it on. It was kind of funny. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put some glue on our lashes um, and do our liner. So while the glue is sitting, we're going to do our liner. And I need to clean up some of my lashes here. Okay, so I'm just putting glue on them. Standard stuff, you just put it on the band that is on the back of the lashes. Okay. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, it looks like it could be a nice day. It's kind of cloudy right now, but it could be nice. I am waking up as we go along here. I had one big mug of coffee. I have to say it was a big mug. So that was helpful. But when I first started out, I was pretty tired. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to make our lines. And since this is so pretty, I'm tempted to not even go to the corner. Okay, and just go to about right here. Okay. So that is what we're doing. It's just the lilac is so pretty. I don't want the liner to take away from it. Let's see. How's that? Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna go turn it. Blend that in. Well, now we're kind of going. All right, just lightly go. Ever so lightly. Okay, so there's that. Now we are going to go ahead and brush off the excess. I'm going to leave it to bake for a few more minutes, then we'll do our brows, and then we'll brush off the excess. Okay, so you're going to want to take your powder, your pomade, whatever, um, the different things. You need to do things differently, but I have a powder by Be Perfect uh, called the Semi-Permanent Brow Kit, and it comes with stencils, but I don't use the stencils anymore. Um, but they're very helpful if you're just new to doing your brows. So... Here we go. Do a little flick. And this is kind of a soft brow look. It's not a uber defined brow look. And that's fine because my brows kind of need to be done anyways. Okay. I'm just making sure I've got enough on there. And remember, your eyebrows are not exactly the same. Okay? 
that's just the truth okay and that is fine so if you're gonna try to make them exactly the same you would drive yourself nuts um, so we're gonna go ahead and right under here put some of that highlight back in okay just to highlight our brows a little bit we can do a little bit more of that at the end if we want um, now we're gonna brush off the excess Excess is quite a lot here. Oops, sorry about that. Bumped the camera. I need to use a different brush. There we go. Okay, that gets the excess off. And look at how brightened our eyes are. Okay, that's what we wanted. Okay, so. Now we're going to check out our lashes. They're still a bit milky. So we're going to give them a minute or two more. And we are going to go ahead and put our mascara on. And we're just going to do a light coat. Because we just want them to blend in with our lashes. You know what? Part of me has changed my mind. I really like my tatty lashes, so I might put those on, even though they're big. As I looked at the lashes I just chose, and they actually kind of need to be cleaned a little bit. You need to maintain your lashes, so that means that you need to go in with a tweezer and pick off old glue. So, those ones need to be clean. In fact, almost all of my, sorry for the noise, all of my Sosu lashes need to be cleaned. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this virgin box of lashes. Get the darn thing open. Sorry for all the noise. Um, this is how they come in these pretty little boxes. And you always put them back around that curve so that they stay curved. These should look nice with today's look. So I'm going to put these back here. You can tell they need to be clean because they feel pretty stiff. I'm going to have to put one of my lashes away and hopefully I'll find the other when I'm cleaning up. Um, so I'm going to use these T.L. Mitchell, it's a blend of a makeup artist with tatty lashes, and I'm going to go ahead and put glue on them. Now, most people have to cut these, but I don't because I have a really long lash line, so usually I don't need to cut them, so we're just going to go without cutting them this time, and, um, they have some something going on here. I need to fix this really quick. There. Okay. So that was just a weird little thing. Um, we are going to go ahead and paint the lashes. my son in the background being a little warrior or a little monster. Okay, so here is the one side of the lashes. I'm 
here is the other. So I want you to see these eyes, okay? It's my first time really using that lilac and purple set. Okay, so those are gonna dry. So we're gonna just keep putting on our mascara. We're gonna do a second coat. And we'll move on to other things that we can do while the lashes dry. Okay. We're gonna do the bottom. Okay. Funny face I was making. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I think this look is really pretty and really purple. If you like purple, you'll love this look. Obviously. Goes without saying. So now we're going to go ahead and do our blush. And we're going to go with, I think, a little bit more of the rosy color this time. Um... And just skip the peach. Just go for the rosy shimmer. With the light shimmer on top of it. Okay. We're getting close to being done. I'm going to go with the light shimmer on top of it now light shimmer blush so now all we really have left to do okay is we need to do our highlighting okay so I'm going to grab a brush to do with the edge of this brush I'm going to highlight our face okay so we just take the edge of our brush Here's our highlight and our contour, and we rub the edge of our brush on the highlight, and we just rub it on all the spots that the sun would naturally hit. Okay, so. Here we go. We're gonna go on our nose. Okay. And then we're gonna dip this in a little bit. Go up here just a little bit like the spotlight is on us okay and in regular lighting this is not as, as shiny it's just more subtle but obviously I'm using bright white lighting so uh, you guys can see the colors and everything really well so there's that I'm gonna go in a little bit with the contour shade And we're just gonna do that, okay? I'm dipping it in the brown and the golden. Okay. This is my new contour brush, which is, actually it was really hard to find one like this, the curved kind, um, but I found it on Amazon, finally. We're gonna go ahead and use our beauty blender just to Press that in. And if it's if there's any part that's going too far down, just use a beauty blender to buff it. Um, and then if you want, you can go above your eyebrows with the highlight color. Just to make them pop a little bit more. And then you're gonna press that with the beauty blender so that it doesn't create a strict line. We don't want any harsh lines. Ah, sorry, hit the camera again. Um, so now we're gonna go to our lashes, which should be getting there, but they're not quite ready yet. So we will do our lip, which is going to be a pink lip 
it's actually going to be, I'm thinking of using this color just because it's kind of got a little bluish purple to it, the pink, but I don't know because I kind of just want the eyes to stand out really. Um, hmm. Light pink or dark pink? I think I'll go with the light pink and I can always change it later to the dark pink. That's much easier. So, I'm going to close this so I can open up my drawer here. Get my pink lipstick, which is Oh Boy by Sosu. And it's just a nude pink, really. Okay, so we're just gonna, I need to sharpen this, but still usable. So, we're just gonna go and with this pink, that way our eyes are the focus, which I think is great. So see, you could wear this without lashes and it would be so, so pretty. Um, so don't feel like you have to have lashes to do any of these looks. Like my natural lashes, especially if I curled them, would be great. Um, but I just like wearing lashes. So, so what are you gonna do? You do what you like. Okay. So I am going to thinking of grabbing a clip and putting partially up I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry so I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair and just grab half of it twist it and put a clip in it and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bobby pins which are right behind the camera that's my son being unhappy probably because he was told he couldn't do something that he wanted to do or have something he wanted to have, which is pretty typical. He's three, so. So, he was probably asking for snacks, and we don't really give out snacks after breakfast, like potato chips and stuff. Um, sometimes, like, that can be an afternoon thing, but... We don't like to do it a lot and they love it so he gets really upset when he can't have them but you just can't have those every day okay and I'm gonna use one more bobby pin to secure this part right here so that's gonna be our hair look and the lashes should be ready now so before I accidentally jump all my hair pins I am going to do the, put them away, and now I'm going to grab my lashes. See if one is drier than the other. Yes, it is. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be doing this by hand. I'm just going to press the middle. And then we're going to move outwards. Putting it over a little bit. I'm having to use my fingers to press it. They don't have my lap lash applicator. Just goes to show that you can do it even if you don't have one. Okay, so I'm just making sure they are where they're supposed to be. It's a little different when you're using your fingers it's hard to get it as precise so I'm going back with my tweezers here okay now we're gonna do the other ones I'm gonna try doing it with my tweezers which I don't normally do but the lash applicator is so much better
Okay. Okay, so that is our look, okay? Oh, I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Let's just press it all in. Press it all in, groom it up a little bit. And these are our lids. Okay, and that is our look for today. So, again, this is Ashley the Wren, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorials from Ashley the Wren Beauty. And today was really fun. It was a new color to work with, with a new palette, the lilac and the purples. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy wearing it if you try it. And please do watch, continue to watch, uh, like, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and thank you to everyone who has, and thank you to everyone who's written a comment, okay? Have a great day, bye.